Hi, I'm Cadet Flight Sergeant Aaron Hamza. Today I'll be demonstrating how to polish your shoe. For this demonstration, I'll be using cold water, Kiwi Natural Parade Gloss, and cotton balls. However, you can use hot water, warm water, parade gloss, but I don't advise it, and a cloth. With one cotton ball, I'll put it in the water, rinse it, and do the same again. And what I like to do is I like to go over my toe cap with water before I start polishing. After that, I make it into a little ball and I apply some polish to it. Just a little, so you can go around the whole shoe. Then, what I like to do is I like to go into little small circles all around the shoe. Once it's covered, carry on with the small circles. Once you're happy with the end result you have, you may dry it with a cotton ball or a cloth or simply just blow off the water. This may take some time, as if you have new parade shoes, you might have to apply a layout of polish every day. And then once you've done that, you'll see a lovely shine from your shoes. If you see some tension or feel some tension, please add water. I'm happy, so now I'm going to get a different cotton ball, roll it up in my hands, and simply just dry it. I'll dry it how the same way I wet it before. I go to and towards my body. Now I'm happy. Now, what I need to do is I need to go through all three sections what I like to call. So the first section is the lowest section of the shoe. As you can see, is this section. So go all the way around the shoe, like so. Making sure you add polish. Make sure you cover the whole of that section. And once you feel happy, leave it on there, and then we'll complete the other two sections, and then we'll rub it all together. Now the second section is the main section and then the third section is where you would normally tie up your shoes and put your shoelace through the holes. I advise you to make sure you take off out the shoelace as if you apply water to the shoelace it may ruin it. So now I'm going to add some water to my cotton ball and go all around the shoe. If you have dust in the side of your shoe, I advise you to use a toothbrush and go in a downward motion all across the shoe. Now, some people would do under the shoe. I am one of them people. But it's a, the reason I do it is because when you're walking around and doing drill, the people behind you, when they march, they'll see this bit of your shoes just slightly. But if they um, see it, and they recognize it, then they will do it, and they will tell people to do it. And then eventually, everyone will be the same. And that's what being an air cadet is. It's making all your uniform perfect, prestige, and looking like one others. Now, when you're happy with that, I want you to just dry off, going to and from your body, drying it off. Once you're happy and it's dry, 
you move on to the bottom section of the shoe. Now with this, I would like to use another cotton bud, making sure it's nice and wet. I'm going to rinse it, add water to the surface that I'm polishing, and then add in a little bit of polish. Now this is the same thing as if you're polishing your toe cap or the boot of your shoe, as I just did. Just make sure you add a layer by layer every day and then when you get to one day it will become shiny and you won't have to put that much effort into the shoes and they will already be shiny. But as I've been doing this for coming up to four years now I don't have to do it for that much long because I've been adding a layer every day since I've got these shoes and I've had these shoes for coming up to one year now so I'm done as you can see the nice shine from that now what I want to do is dry it off and there you have it nice polished RAF Air Cadet Shoe.